Jerry designed his biofortress specifically to keep pathogens out. But he isn't just concerned about contaminants. He's also worried about people. Both entrances and exits have a man trap. So you have two sets of doors that you would have to actually go through to get into the core of the facility. All the doors are metallic and weigh at least 1,000 pounds. These doors are all fire rated and isolate every man trap from the center core of the facility. This place is designed with incredible strength in the walls, the steel, all the concrete, it just overkill. And this is the core of the building right here, which is extremely sound. You have pillars every 18 feet, which made an interesting design. Although Jerry has spent over $7 million to make his home structurally sound, completely self-sufficient, and fully supplied with food and water, he has not limited his survival plans to the bare necessities. A lot of people buy gold and silver, but I invested heavily in toilet paper because everybody needs it and uh, makes life kind of rough if you don't have it. It's a better investment in the long run. In 2003, amid intelligence concerns about a biological attack, the U.S. government encouraged citizens to store duct tape and plastic sheeting for sealing windows. Jerry devised a method he believes is more reliable. This is our sunroom. It's the only sunlight uh, in the complete complex. So when you get uh, claustrophobic, you can come in here and uh, unwind. This glass, it offers bullet resistance up to class three, 44 mag. And on top of that, it has Batman shutters that go down over the glass for extra protection. We have biological monitoring equipment, rad meters, chemical test kits, to secure his bunker from airborne toxins, Jerry has built an ultraviolet radiation chamber, which he uses to filter all air coming into the facility. The room also doubles as an emergency disinfection chamber, designed to eradicate deadly microorganisms that could be carried in. This is the air handler room right through here, where all air comes into the building. These vents control the outside air. If we expect a event or know have detected an event, these go closed. They're all sealed with rubber seals against steel. It keeps all pollutants, our uh, toxins outside. We uh, get the bugs if they sneak in. Once the emergency ventilation systems are shut down, they'll be incinerated inside the UV chamber. This is where it happens, right here.